Well, it takes a lot of metal, M-E-T-T-L-E, -E, to survive as a musician, even more if you're using scrap metal, which is M-E-T-A-L, to pay your bills. Scrap metal is a $100 billion a year industry, and 60% of U.S. steel is made from recycled scrap. And that is why one musician on New York's Long Island got the bright idea to make scrapping a full-time business. Scrapping metal is not easy, especially if you'd rather be doing this. But it's how Vaughn Strauss pays the bills. Jobs he had in the past, landscape designer, swimming pool builder, even news photographer, read like a list of cans kicked down the road. Until in 2006, Strauss began picking them up, literally. He helped a friend scrap for just a week before starting his own business, and Metal Man was born. I saw the potential of the money that could be made if he did it right. Doing it right meant, among other things, financing a truck instead of renting to improve his cash flow. This is truck number two. The first one, well, it was scrapped. It's probably a toaster now, or a microwave. You took the <laughs> he also learned hours of separating copper, iron, steel, and aluminum can mean making more money. You don't cut it off, it's 85 cents a pound. You cut it off, it's a dollar. Metal Man says he's picked up about four million pounds of scrap, mostly in the fashionable Hamptons on New York's Long Island. He summered there as a child and played music gigs there as a young adult. You know, you do a rip out in the house. There's copper all over the, all over the house. So I'll approach these jobs and talk to the guy knocking it down. And the guy says, give me okay. three, four hundred bucks. And usually I double or triple my money. Prices can fluctuate, sometimes violently. China's tariffs on U.S. steel meant growing supply at home this summer, and copper prices dropped nearly 20 percent. Ouch. But when he's busy, Strauss will drop five or six loads a day at recycling centers like Gershow, a family business opened by another scrapper back in 1964. Still, he was pleasantly surprised at how much this load paid. $549, it was 1,173 pounds. The biggest risk? Injuries. A fall sidelined him for weeks earlier this year, and he's still having issues with his fingers. A classically trained pianist, Strauss says he's played in 23 bands and written more than a thousand songs. Now he's finishing a collection of 46 originals, his words, his music. There's value whether his music sells or not. I'm a perfectionist with the music, and it transfers over to the business. I want to do everything right with, with, with the metal thing. I want everybody to be happy when they call me and then they, they have the metal man experience. <laughs> I'm not here. The metal man's on his way here. There's legend, too. A 1,000-pound safe Call metal man. There was about uh, 30 workmen watching this whole thing. They were all cheering, metal man, metal man. All part of marketing a superhero persona. Iron Man's taken, and Man of Steel, or Magneto. <laughs> I'm trying to recycle metal instead of, you know, rip it from the earth and keep mining it and, and all that stuff. So in a way, I'm, I'm trying to do something great for the planet. <sighs> Strauss says no, he wouldn't call his music heavy metal. But in addition to his musical interests, all that heavy lifting did pay for his trucks, and it also helped put his daughter through college.